Hi guys, welcome to your fourth Xcode tutorial. And today we've got quite a big tutorial lined up. It's in our Gmail, so pretty much clicking a button which will bring up a mail composer view delegate uh, so you can then send an email within your application. And we'll cover that, we'll cover adding attachments and a few other things to do with MF Mail View Composer. So let's get started on. So you want to open Xcode and create a new project. I'm going to use a single view application as always, well not as always, but usually it's not going to matter what you use and that's the same with today. You can use anything, you can use a tab bar controller, yeah, anything, but I'm using a single view controller. I'm also going to only select the iPhone, but again that doesn't make any difference whatsoever for the moment. And we'll call this, e uh, let's call this inner email. Create. Go into your main project viewer window and set the deployment target to five, uh, anything under 6 pretty much. So I'm going to do 5.0 and get rid of landscape left and right and then go into your viewcontroller.nib. Select the view and set the size to be none. It doesn't really matter but it's a bit easier for this tutorial. I'm just changing the background colour which is really just for your own purposes. I just don't really like that grey look. Anything you want, doesn't matter. I'm going to use a uh, tacos. Uh, then you're going to need to add in a button, and we're going to call this button email. And again, you can fiddle around with the color schemes and everything, that's not really going to make any difference. Uh, open up your dual editor and control or right click. Actually, first adding your curly brackets after you have your controller. And press enter to insert the second closing curly bracket then right click or control click email and drag over to within to below the curly bracket and we're going to create an action and we'll call this action email make sure it's a uh, argument sender type id connection action doesn't matter what you choose for event obviously it's going to be touch up inside or touch up outside the rest well you can do them but you need to know what they are so we're just going to keep it simple and go touch up inside and I'll cover all of them in another tutorial. Then close the dual editor and open up your left view again and go into your .m file and we're going to start typing the code. So it is quite complex, just follow along, you can pause the video if you need to, that's fine. Um, actually we forgot to do the most important part of this which is to use in-app email you do need to import a new library. Which I don't think we've done yet, actually. So let me show you how. When you're in your main summary tab, go. For, you'll be in summary. Go into build phases. Click the arrow next to link binary libraries, and you should see UIKit Foundation and Core Graphics Framework. What we need to do is import the Message UI Framework. So you just click the little plus button. Now you can scroll through them all, or you can just start typing in the search field, and it'll come up under iOS 6.1 uh, then you can go into your .h file and what you're going to need to do is this no longer will be a UI view controller only it will also be an MF mail compose view controller delegate which don't worry about what that means it just means that after you have view controller you're going to need to add some code but before you do that you are going to need to import the library into your view controller so hashtag import and this is going to be not talking marks it's going to be triangular brackets and the header is message UI slash MF mail compose view, not message compose view, because you're not composing a text message, you're composing an email. Then after you have view controller, which is on the add interface line, two triangular brackets, and within them you're gonna type MF mail compose view control delegate, use type ahead. Um, for this tutorial, type ahead is really important because there will be a lot of code. Um, particularly long code and if you mess it up then you're going to have errors so it's just use type ahead it's also important to get used to doing that some people will find that really easy to do other people will find it quite difficult so just try your best um, you can pause the tutorial but definitely in later projects as well as this one you will need to be able to use type ahead because even if you don't keep up with your pause it will just not work so I'll try and go slowly I've got to keep it within the 15 minute time limit because obviously you don't want to be sitting there all day so let me start typing. Um, okay, so within your IB action, email, uh, MF mail compose view controller.
asterisk and we'll call it composer and call it whatever you like as long as you remember equals square bracket square two square brackets mf mail view controller alloc allocate some memory for it then in the next section of the square bracket you want in it and then semicolon then what you want is you want square bracket composer set mail control view delegate set mail compose delegate to self and end the square brackets and semicolon okay and then what you need to do press enter again and go if if mf ah sorry if and then you want to add in a square brackets if mf mail compose view controller can send mail so if it's can send mail if mail set up um in square brackets then go to statements and then if we if it's able to send mail then obviously we want it to send mail so then square brackets composer set to recipient and in this array so just two square brackets and then uh another square bracket to end and then a semicolon and within the first two square brackets after set to recipients we're going to need to create an ns array so ns array array with objects and then here's where you can put in all your people you wanted to send to so i'll put my email address in there you can put yours up to you and then obviously if i want to do another person after the comma do at two talking marks and then do comma and then you've got to end with nil so here i could also have info at 99 cents and then i'll send it to these two senders and then no one else okay and then what you want to do and you can leave it empty oh you got to do set to recipients but just leave it as we'll just leave this leave it blank if you don't want to set any recipients if you want it to be dynamic and the, you'll see what I mean in a moment. I'll explain it when we get to the end of the project. Okay, so once you finish that line, new line, uh, square brackets, composer set to recipients. And under set to recipients, we're going to need to do the same thing. We're going to need to create an NS array. NS array, array with objects. Ah, uh, sorry, NS, oh, I've stuffed that up here. We, we don't we don't want to do that we want to do composer set subject and then we want the ns string subject so whatever you want the subject to be put that in there so let's say the subject can be in app email and that'll be what the subject of the email will be and then we're going to need to set the message body the text within the message so composer set message body so it's fairly it's not hard to remember um so you should be well, it's hard to remember, but it's all, you know, set message body. The code is set message body. So you can sort of work it out for yourself. For example, if I've missed adding attachments, which I will go over, you'll be able to work that out for yourself. But I will go over that. Uh, we've got the set message body. We want it to be a string, obviously, because it's going to be text. So here we can, I'm just going to do hi, comma. So that will just be the uh, message's text. And is HTML, we doesn't really make a big difference but we're going to put no because we don't want it to be an html email we just want it to be a plain text email then composer set modal transition style and this will just be the um effect essentially that you want it to come in with so if we press the escape key oh no sorry don't press the escape key just start we'll do a ui modal transition style you can see all the different transition styles you can fiddle around with them any of those will work uh, partial curl is not great do any of the other ones so we'll just let's do a cross dissolve transition style cross dissolve n square bracket semicolon and then self present modal view controller and we want it to be composer and animated yes now what's the error here ah sorry i've done set modal presentation set modal and what we actually want set modal transition style and ui modal transition style cross dissolve 
Mm-hmm. And then to end that, we want the composer to release. And you don't need to do this in Arc anymore. It's been deprecated. But I'm just... I'm going to do it anyway. Because it... Ju- oh, actually, Arc's not going to allow me to. Is it? Okay. Don't, don't do composer release. And then what you're going to need after this is a void statement. And the void statement is if it cannot send mail. So void mail compose view controller did fit and then use type ahead there. I'm not going to go through that code because that's very long. Definition with error. And then we're going to do an if statement. If error. If error. Uh, if error. And then in statements you want you are alert. And you guys probably don't know how to do an alert for you yet. I haven't covered it yet. That will be probably our next tutorial. So you just follow this code here and I'll show you some other time how to do that. Because it's not too important. Just follow this code for the moment. You don't need to know what it means. And that's the thing with this code. You don't always need to know what it means. Sometimes it's best just to follow along. If if it's code you're only going to use once, there's no point knowing what it means really. Um, so I delegate, I haven't been following you along, so hopefully you've been watching. You know, with title, at talking mark, talking mark, message, at talking mark, talking mark, because they're both strings, delegate, nil, cancel button, title, and that's them. Then I'm going to put cancel. If you want to know how to, w- how to change all of this, watch the next tutorial, or the one after that, which will be UI alert views. And other button titles, nil. Nil. And then we can put the in it with title here error and then what we're going to do is error percentage at um no no we'll just do error there and then the message will do error percentage at and then here's um And the percentage at means that after this area here, we're going to put a comma and then we're going to do error description. Description. Two, oh, sorry, you only wanted one, one square bracket there. Um, what we need, ah, oh, okay. I couldn't do it that way. So uh, what we need to do is... After message, we need to do one square bracket. We need to do ns string string with format. And again, I'll be showing you that in a later tutorial. Because what that's essentially saying is we want to string it with a format. And the format is to add a string after error. Um, and the, you'll get a warning there, which is just that's been unused. We haven't used alert. What's the point of having it? But we are going to use it and it's going to be alert show. And that pretty much covers alerts, but I will do another tutorial on it, don't worry. And then we want to do self dismiss modal view control animated, yes. Now, you might, if you've watched any other tutorials, you will know that normally what you do is in this uh, IB action after the code to compose the mail, you would do an else statement and then you do compose a release. But again, uh, Arc's not going to allow us to do that anymore. You'll see we'll get an error. So you don't need that. If we try and run that now, let's see if that works. So we've got no errors, which is a good sign. Get iOS simulator running. And hopefully what will happen is it'll create an email address to these people with that subject, that message that we can then click send. So click on email. And as you can see, it's got the two here, who it's sending to, and the subject, and hi, and then I can click send, and that will then send. Obviously, I don't have an address, I don't have email set up on this simulator, so it's not going to work, but that would, if I click send, it should close the message thing, it will send the email. But it's not for some reason, so, ah. Ah, I haven't put a valid, I haven't put .com at the end of that address. So that's going to be an issue, obviously. But that's the gist of it.
No, what we need to do is we've got we've got the message there, but once the we've finished typing the message, we want to be able to close that message view control. We don't we want to be able to get off this and go back to the app, send the email and go back to the app because what's happening now is when I click send, it's sending the email, but then I'm not going back to the app. So after the void mail composer controller, uh, at the end of that if statement, we want to do an else and then enter curly brackets self dismiss modal view controller. So that's essentially saying close the view. If there's no errors, close the view. If there's an error, come up with an alert, then close the view. And so now I'm not getting any errors. All the email addresses are valid. Uh, as you can see, I've got two of these two addresses. I can, you can, I'll show you how to do a CC BCC in a moment. And the subjects there sent from my RS simulator. If I then click send now, that's going to close that view and uh, send the email. I can bring up my emails. I won't, but you'll, it will appear. Or I can click cancel and I can either save the draft as a draft email or I can delete the draft. Um, that, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. In the description, uh, let me quickly show I won't quickly go through the attachments. You can work that out, but it essentially would be composer, composer, add attachment data, and then you need to create an NS data, a string, a file name, which is all quite complex. And I've actually decided to save that for another tutorial because we would need to import an image or a video to attach before doing that. And again, what you can do if you want to see what other things you can do, type composer with a square bracket, press es escape, and scroll through the various things you can do. And there will be something that will stand out. It might be like add BCC or set. Um, you can set BCC recipients and then you can do set, set CC, recipient, CC recipients and then just copy this NS array here to put in there. And that's how you do a CC recipient. So fiddle around with that. If you've got any questions or comments, uh, be sure to comment to the video. Be sure to subscribe. Also, if you want to contact us directly, check out our website, 99centsappdevelopment.com. The link's in the description and go into the Contact Us page. Uh, be sure to like the video and look forward to the next tutorial when I'll be covering UI alerts. Mm -hmm.